Hey guys, Pygool Rules here, and welcome back to Nick or Treat. Tonight, I spy a witch. I don't mean literally, I mean that's the title of the As Told by Ginger Halloween special. Ginger is framed for a crime she didn't do, while Carl summons a ghost. One of these plots is more interesting than the other. Yeah, I take issue with this episode for a few things. Firstly, there's like nothing that goes on in Ginger's plot. Seriously. Miranda vandalizes a statue, then frames Ginger for it. And this happens while a school production of a musical that seems very loosely based off of The Crucible. To be completely fair, in the third act, they do do some interesting things with parallels between the musical and what's actually going on in Ginger's life. But the first two thirds of the episode are just so boring and by the books. There's a lot of just inane chatter in the dialogue. It's not like the characters are having interesting or memorable or funny exchanges that don't have anything to do with the plot. It's more that they talk and talk and talk, and none of what they say is any of those things. And I'm willing to admit it. Maybe this is just me. Maybe it's because after seeing the Invader Zim special, which also aired on the same day as this, I'm really not interested in seeing a very, very dull, mundane story. Maybe it's because I'm no longer a teenager. Maybe it's because I'm not a girl. But for whatever the reason, I just genuinely do not care about Ginger's story. I don't care what happens to her. I don't care what's going on. I just don't care. And that's the worst thing that a member of the audience could ever say. Because once you stop caring about what happens to the characters, you're just dismissive of anything else that happens in the episode. And while of course I went into this thing with an open mind and I tried to be professional and critical and paid attention even when it got kind of boring, I still just didn't like this episode. Maybe they could have thrown a few more twists into the episode, like not knowing who did the crime in the beginning and leaving it to be a mystery to the audience as well as Ginger. Or something along those lines, because as it is, we know Miranda did it, we know Miranda's framing Ginger, and we know that most likely at the end of the episode, Ginger's gonna find out and Miranda's gonna get in trouble. I know what's going to happen in this story, so why am I watching it? Oh, and there's songs in this episode. Not like highly produced, really awesome songs. No, they're pretty realistic to what high school plays sound like in terms of singing. It's not like it's horrible or super off-putting, but it's definitely not enjoyable and these definitely aren't great songs. But of course, that's still only Ginger's plot. I haven't even touched on Carl's yet. He thinks he's lost his touch at scaring people because he's not able to scare his mom, so he does a seance to try and bring back a ghost of a character who died in a previous episode to help him. And this totally just happens. He, he summons a ghost, she appears, possesses Hoodsie, then just appears in ghost form, shows herself in front of Lois and Blake, and even hands over crucial evidence needed to prove Ginger is innocent to Lois. My point being, there's no maybe this happened, maybe it didn't happen. This was genuinely a ghost that just appeared in this episode. And I know Carl's stories typically tend to go the supernatural route, but this seems very overt about it. And tonally, it's just all over the place. You have a plot that's supposedly what real teenage girls go through, very down to earth, and then you have another plot about a character summoning a ghost. And like I said, the plot lines intersect. Without Carl's summoning of a ghost, Ginger would not have been proven innocent. It's just really weird and I kind of find it off-putting. I remember liking Carl's stories when I was a kid and kind of being a little bit bored of Ginger's, but now I find Ginger's stories are too boring and Carl's stories are too off-the-wall weird for a show that's supposedly more down-to-earth than most. I said it during my review of the Christmas special and I'll say it again. I could swear this show was good. I I'm pretty sure it totally is. But not this episode. It's possible that it's one of those things that I'm just not in the right demographic to enjoy this show, but I'm just not sure. So I didn't enjoy this episode, and I wouldn't recommend it. Pie Guy Rules, out.